should do a couple different cities and we could pair those with some of the iconic Barbies. So obviously we start in California with Malibu Barbie. My first cupcake is paying homage to Malibu Barbie. It's an orange scented cake filled with orange mousse, topped with a strawberry passion fruit buttercream and garnished with a gluten-free Barbie Silhouette Twill Cookie in the shape of a heart. Oh my gosh, how's your chocolate cake coming? Our second cupcake is Fashionista Barbie. It's a chocolate cake filled with peppermint milk chocolate ganache, topped with peppermint chocolate chip Italian ring buttercream, the Barbie signature, and her accessory, a pearl necklace. I think we should do a ginger cookie crust on the key lime so it tastes more like a key lime pie. Our third cupcake is Pastry Chef Barbie's Key Lime Pie Cupcake, filled with a key lime cremeau and topped with an Italian meringue, which we toast, with a home sweet home stamp out of modeling chocolate. I really hope they love this. Kira, tell us about this trio. We start with a gluten-free orange scented cake filled with an orange mousse, topped with a strawberry passion fruit buttercream and a gluten-free Barbie heart twill silhouette. And the next one is the chocolate cake filled with peppermint milk chocolate ganache, topped with a peppermint chocolate chip Italian ring buttercream, a sparkly Barbie signature, and the pink pearl necklace. On your right, it starts with a gluten-free ginger cookie crust topped with vanilla cake filled with lime cremeau, topped with Italian meringue, and then a home sweet home medallion. Hi, Kira. Barbie's life is nothing if not over the top and glamorous, and that's exactly what these cupcakes were. I loved how all of your decorations were deliciously edible. I think you captured Barbie perfectly in these cupcakes and in the taste as well. Overall, good job on the decoration. Regarding your cupcakes, what a delicious plate of cupcakes. I only know would be this frosting. The passion fruit give a kick to the strawberry that make it taste artificial. I don't think that was a good idea. The Barbie fans would say pink-tastic. <laughs>